Hi, I'm Eric DeMatt, and welcome to a brand new Marvel Entertainment Let's Play. We're doing another Marvel game today, and the last X-Men game we're ever going to do, X-Men Legends 2. X-Men Legends 1 and X-Men 2 Wolverine's Revenge have both been linked to this, especially the uh, ending scene of that one. Um, doing the PSP version, because each version of the game has exclusive characters, except for the PS2 one being for some reason. PC has Saber Goods and Pyro. Yeah. Engage, whatever the fucking Engage is, has Beast, and so yeah, he's not a main character anymore. But the PS2 version has some lame characters like Cannonball and X-Men. One, we should, should make the game immediately over characters like Dark Phoenix. And a character you need if Apocalypse is involved, Cable. I'm really fucking annoyed at this game, though, because this is my third time going through it. Because this, uh, the ISO I have of this game takes up a wild amount of memory. So I've had two recordings brother. in a row. They have been Fuck up. Sworn enemies for as long as I can remember. Led by a madman who was so once we're my only friend. going 30 minutes for each one. Now, only 30 a minutes. New evil has surfaced. One with powers beyond comprehension. And those we have battled against for so long will become something we never imagined. Our allies. The apocalypse has begun. New game. Easy mode. I will be using cheats, but I will not, will not be using them on this video. Which way? There. Polaris. Polaris, she's been abducted. Indeed, Charles. It appears we both have a grievance with Apocalypse.
Nightcrawler, we've located the professor. It's okay to teleport in. Will do. Eh, new uh, Nightcrawler uniform. Get him to the X-Jet, Nightcrawler. We'll meet you there. As you wish. All right, let's go. Okay, because you've never played as Magneto before, we'll be playing as Magneto. I am not going to be bothering with the fucking hints. With any of the fucking hints, because I do not give a shit. I know what I'm doing. I've played an actual game before. Saber to the mystique. It looks like we'll cut off. You will have to find another way out. Let's rendezvous back in the X jet. I knew things were going too smoothly. Looky here, a target. Once again, I am victorious! Distribute everything automatically, because I God, have the fucking patience for that. The game knows better than I do who should have what, and I don't really give a shit about RPG elements. I really can't, couldn't this is gonna be sweet. I like RPGs when I'm on my own time, but uh, not for channel videos. Same with leveling up, I do not want to fucking go. <laughs> Give me back up. Yes. Very well. I've been through this part twice now, so I have no patience with fucking anything. <laughs> Once again, I am victorious! What have we here? Ah, this ain't good. This is incredible! Automatically spend everything. I don't want to. Game's responsibility now, not mine. Affirmative. You're excited the Cyclops, you deal with it. Get over here or I'm out! Ah, uh, Cyclops is insane. Insist. That makes me happy. I don't like Cyclops. No one likes Cyclops. If you like Cyclops, you're wrong. You Ain't he courageous? Ain't no one getting in my way now. Uh. 
once again. I am victorious. Uh, Magneto, may, may I remind you that uh, the la that uh, your last big outing, the, the one where you fought us last game, yeah, you lost that. And that time in X uh, X2 Wolverine Revenge, yeah, when uh, when you escaped and Wolverine dra had to track you down, this yeah, you lost that too. Sweet. So uh, don't get too uppity, okay? I like you. You're awesome, but you lose a lot. A fucking lot. You lost against Doctor Doom and he's covered in metal. Step up your game, man. <laughs> Greetings. This location is known as the Sanctuary, mm -hmm. a retreat of Magneto's. It will serve as our base of operations while we're here on the island of Genosha. Several days ago, Apocalypse attacked the city of Genosha. Magneto and several of his people were able to escape, but the rest of the populace was trapped. After helping to rescue me, Magneto requested the X-Men's aid in freeing Genosha. I could hardly refuse. Most voice things I'm going to be doing is Wolverine or possibly Gambit because their voices are easier to do. This is really a good idea, having the X-Men and the Brotherhood team up. Apocalypse is far too strong for either team to battle alone. I realize this is a stressful situation, but remember, thousands of lives are depending on us. We must learn to work together. How do we find about, out about missions and get briefings? Talking to people around camp will activate your objectives. To receive briefings, activate the mission computer here to my side. Right now, you should speak with Sabretooth. He requires aid in finding a mutant he had helped escape from Genosha. Good luck to you. We won't be using Magneto for dialogue so. stuff because many quest things will not make sense if, if for him because we'll ask why Magneto's doing things, which is going to be very, very strange. It's good to see you. I trust we're finding common ground with the Brotherhood. I'm not quite sure about that, Professor Xavier. The Brotherhood members can be a little difficult to deal with. How did Apocalypse take you prisoner? I had received a communique from Dr. Moira McTaggart requesting Polaris and I meet her in Madrid. Only too late did I come to find out it was a trap. Any idea why Apocalypse wanted you? His primary target was Polaris. I was merely an afterthought. Why would Apocalypse kidnap Polaris? I don't know, but he was adamant that she not be harmed. I'm almost certain she's in no immediate danger. Why were you being tortured? Apocalypse was determined to obtain information on Cerebro and the Xavier Protocols, two areas I am particularly secretive about. Aren't the Xavier Protocols a list of all mutants in the world? Yes, and with it, Apocalypse would know every mutant's strengths and weaknesses. And their location. Indeed, and that is perhaps the most sensitive information of all. Who is Apocalypse? He was born over 5,000 years ago in Egypt, and is considered by many to be the first mutant ever born. He's 5,000 years old? That's incredible. Apocalypse could very well be immortal. He's a metamorph, capable of turning his body into a variety of weapons. But what's most dangerous is his ideology. Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest? Apocalypse believes the strong should destroy the weak. This, he feels, would create a powerful civilization worthy of him to rule over. Why are the Brotherhood and the X-Men working together? Magneto asked for the X-Men's assistance. He feels Apocalypse is too powerful for the Brotherhood to defeat alone. Isn't there someone else Magneto could go to for help? Perhaps, but none he could depend on in the heat of battle. You see, even though we differ in ideology, Magneto knows he can trust my word, and I know that I can trust his. Thank you, Professor Xavier. You're quite welcome. Then we'll talk to non-playable beast. Salutations, my friend. It's most agreeable to see you. Hi, beast. It's good to see you, too. Are you the person we see for equipment? Indeed I am. Through me, you will be able to buy and sell all manner of devices that will aid you in your missions. What about health and energy? I can acquire potions that will replenish both of those statistics. No more having to go back to uh, the Morlock guy. 
You're the smartest X-Man, aren't you? I do have a certain penchant for learning, but I don't know if I could really lay claim to that title. But that's why you're in charge of equipment, isn't it? <laughs> Charles gave me these responsibilities because I have a knack for dealing with technical issues. But there are several other X-Men who could do that job as well, if not better than I. Forge is the first one who comes to mind. What's a homing beacon? Homing beacons are extremely valuable. I can use them to locate an important individual that Apocalypse is holding prisoner. But I require several of them to pinpoint the location. Who is the important prisoner? Probably Cable. I don't know. But from what I've heard, this person would be of immense aid to us. Thanks for the info, Beast. Anytime, my good friend. No, yeah, we talked to fucking douche. Douche or tooth? Saber douche. I like Saber Tooth, but he's kind he's really a fucking asshole in this game. No matter who you speak to him as, he's even a dick to his boss Magneto. No. Never thought I'd see the day. The Brotherhood be working alongside you, ex -pukes. We're enjoying this as much as you, Saber Tooth. Listen! Much as I hate it, I need your help. A couple of hours ago, I went to Genosha to rescue a kid named Blink. But one thing led to another, and we wound up fighting a bunch of guards. You've never been known for working quietly. Shut your yap or I'll... <clears throat> never mind. Anyway, during the fight, Blink was going to teleport us to the dead zone. But she got hit and disappeared without me. I wound up having to slug my way out of there alone. And now you need us to find Blink somewhere in the dead zone. Mm, yeah, yeah, I do. Go see that mission computer if you want a full briefing. Why did you try to rescue Blink? What are you talking about? Let's face facts, rescuing people it really isn't your style. Mm, maybe it ain't. But I wasn't about to leave the kid unprotected. There's no telling what Apocalypse would do to her. How did Blink wind up in the dead zone? When I was trying to get her out of Genosha, a bunch of Apocalypse's guards jumped us. And that's when Blink tried to teleport you to the dead zone? Yeah, but she got clobbered by a guard. Next thing I know, she's gone, and I'm left there on my own. And let me tell you, the guard that hit Blink ain't ever gonna draw another breath without the help of a machine, if you catch my drift. When did you first meet Blink? Hmm. I found her a couple of years back at some mutant testing facility. I was doing some recon work for Magneto. Poor kid was in a cell, all helpless and alone. So I busted her out of the joint. But weren't there other mutants at the testing facility? Why didn't you free them? <clears throat> she was a defenseless kid. Didn't have no one to help her. Now shut up about it! You're giving me a headache. What's the dead zone? It's where the air fleets of Magneto and Apocalypse had their last big battle. The ground's covered with crashed ships. Even Why's though that? Magneto's aircraft weren't that high-tech, his pilots put up a hell of a fight. So Apocalypse fired off an EMP bomb that fried ships on both sides. You're becoming a real softy, Sabretooth. <laughs> Don't make me hurt you! Nightcrawler! Sabretooth has just informed us that a citizen of Genosha has escaped. Unfortunately, she's hurt, and in an area known as the Dead Zone. Who is it? A young woman named Blink. Sabretooth had gone to Genosha to rescue her. That don't sound right. Sabretooth tried to save someone? Don't think too hard on it, Tiny. Cause he wouldn't ever save an X-Man. Question is, who's gonna save you, Bullethead? Cut it out, you two. Let the professor talk. Let's get one thing straight, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. See? It's just like I told you, Psyche. Juggernaut ain't housebroken yet. Gentlemen, please. Let us focus on more important matters. Who's Blink? She's a very gifted mutant with the ability to teleport. 
So she's like Nightcrawler? Only in the vaguest sense. Blink can teleport as far away as the moon. Wow, that sure leaves the elf in the dust. Did you say Blink might be hurt? Yes. She was injured while attempting to teleport out of Genosha. And that is why a team of you is needed to immediately begin searching the dead zone for this young woman. Good luck to you. Let's go. If you insist. The dead zone. There's Blink. This is where the heaviest fighting occurred between my airships and the forces of Apocalypse. Just when it appeared we would defeat our attackers, Apocalypse activated an electromagnetic pulse bomb. The shockwave burnt out the electronic systems of ships on both sides. The aircraft dropped to the ground like stones, and that is why shattered pulps lit in this area. And somewhere in this wasteland is a young woman named Blink. We must save her. Target's down! If you insist. Blink again. And I cannot do that because I lack the power. I cannot do that because I lack the power. Right. Affirmative. Wolverine needs striking the most because it's his main skill. Look, there's Blink, but she's unconscious and those creatures are moving in for the kill. Let's get over there fast. I am definitely stronger. Pinch. 
enjoy your nap. Ah, oh, jeez, does my head hurt. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? We've been searching the dead zone for you, Blink. Even the X-Men were helping. The X-Men? Why are they here? I'll explain later. Are you feeling alright? Uh, I'm a little dizzy, but I'll be fine. Why are you in the dead zone? Mr. Creed snuck into Genosha to rescue me. But one thing led to another, and we were surrounded by guards. Just as I was about to teleport us to safety, I was hit on the head. So that's why you wound up here and Sabretooth was left in Genosha. Gosh, I didn't even think about that. Is Mr. Creed okay? He's fine. It'll take more than a couple dozen guards to slow Sabretooth down. Why did Sabretooth go to Genosha? I told you, to rescue me. Sabretooth's capable of a lot of things, but not an act of kindness. I'd appreciate you not talking like that about Mr. Creed. I know people say he's mean, but he has a good heart. Can you make it to the sanctuary by yourself? That's a snap. I just need to wait a little bit for my head to clear. Good. Both the X-Men and the Brotherhood have set up camp there. They're working together? Wow. Apocalypse must be really powerful if Magneto went to the X-Men for help. See you back at the Sanctuary. You bet. And thanks for saving me. You did an exemplary job of rescuing Blink. Your next objective is to locate the security codes needed to enter Genosha. It is believed the crashed airships in the dead zone will contain the desired codes. Say, if you're looking to get to the next island, you're gonna need my help. Let me create two portals to get you there. Thanks, Blink. It's no trouble. Tell you what, I'll even port the entire team to camp and back whenever you want. You'd be willing to do that? Sure. It's my mutant ability. Why not use it to help defeat Apocalypse? Find the communication dish, we can deactivate the defensive system. Yes, keep an eye out for it. A piece of equipment like that shouldn't be hard to find. I cannot do that because I lack the power. You've been targeted by the defensive system. <laughs> keep away from that targeting beam. Look out! Was that your best shot? Okay, we'll be calling it a calling it a video here. I'm American Idol. Next time we'll have a new team and probably some cheats on because I don't want to deal with these laser beams. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you like if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!